From your hyper local weather source, this is your Norcast weather update. Brought to you by Montreal Beach Resort, Cape May's premier family friendly resort, and home to Cape May's only rooftop bar, Harry's Ocean Bar and Grill. The best place to grab a drink with friends, listen to music, and soak up the sun. Book your stay today at madisonresorts.com. Hi everybody, meteorologist Brittany Trumpy here. Hopefully you got to see a little bit of some sunshine for the first half of the day today because the second half of the day, later this afternoon and into this evening, we are going to continue to see clouds just build in overhead and then overnight tonight we'll start to see the rain and the wind pick up. So here's the setup. Late tonight into early tomorrow morning, Ophelia is expected to make landfall on the North Carolina coastline. It will then track north through Virginia and then slowly start to turn a little bit more more to the east, moving over Delaware, and then eventually over South Jersey Sunday into Monday. But we're already going to feel the impacts as early as overnight tonight. The wind will start to pick up. It will become a lot more breezy out there. Some stronger wind gusts on the way throughout the day tomorrow. But we're also going to start to see scattered showers develop over the next few hours. Tomorrow morning, whole first half of the day, early morning into about lunchtime, you're going to start to see what started as scattered showers move into widespread heavy rain. Now the rain does stop briefly in the middle part of the day, but that wind continues to just rip across the area. So even though the showers stop for maybe about five or six hours in the middle part of the day, the wind is not going to stop until probably about middle of the day Sunday. And then we see one more round of heavy rain on the way Saturday night into Sunday. So here's a, a little graphic that shows you the timing of the rain specifically. You can see tonight just uh, some scattered showers and then the widespread heavy rain moves in. We see the rain kind of wind down for a little bit, middle part of the day tomorrow, and then it ramps up again Saturday evening into Sunday. Sunday morning, we'll still be dealing with a little bit of some rain, uh, still lingering across the area, but really throughout most of Sunday, we will be drying out. Still staying very windy though. Here's a look at what we're looking big picture wise by the end of this event. Everyone will be seeing two and a half to three inches of rain. Now you will find some localized higher totals. I'm talking five to six inches of rain, particularly along the coastline and where those bands of heavier rain set up. But everyone has the opportunity for two and a half to three inches. Localized higher totals are expected as we look forward to Wednesday. Now here's a look at our wind gusts. We're going to see the wind really start to pick up early tomorrow morning. Already 30 to 40 mile per hour wind gusts by about 5 a.m. tomorrow. As we head through the afternoon, you'll see those higher gusts slowly work their way further inland, down the shore. Your top wind speeds 50 to 55 miles an hour right in the middle of the day. When the wind or when the rain starts to kind of wind down a little bit, that wind is when it's hitting its peak. And then as we head through the overnight hours, Sunday morning, still very, very windy out there all the way through the first half of the day through till lunchtime, even in the evening on Sunday, it's still going to be a little breezy. You can see those wind gusts still upwards of 20 to 25, even 30 miles an hour by about six o'clock on Sunday. So the wind is not going anywhere anytime soon, but the rain should be subsiding as we look forward to uh, about uh, <clears throat> the rain should be subsiding, excuse me, by about Sunday morning. So here's a look at that 70 forecast. You can see really tomorrow and Sunday are the two days that feel the big impacts with this system. Hopefully by Monday we'll even see the wind kind of kick out and we'll be seeing much quieter conditions to start off the new week. Okay, I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your afternoon. We'll continue to keep you guys up to date and check in with you over the next couple of hours.